Welcome to the PowerSchool tutorial. This will be a brief overview of how to use PowerSchool in your classroom. First thing you would need to do is open up an Internet Explorer or Firefox or any other web browser that you use. You want to go to PowerTeacher and the website is here PowerSchool PWRSCHWPSD.WPST k12.pa.us slash teachers slash pw.html I would bookmark this if you get a chance or another way that you can have that readily accessible is just by clicking on the icon here dragging it to your desktop and now you have an icon or a desktop icon that will allow you to go right to PowerSchool anytime you click it to log in, it's your login name is your computer, whether it's or your email. It's my for me it's T Belloff, and then you type your password in, and that'll log you into PowerSchool or PowerTeacher. This is the opening or home page of PowerTeacher. Let me give you a brief overview of what it is. You have your class list that's located right here in the center. You see I have A Day and B Day classes, periods one, two. American Studies. The first uh, box here, or the first icon here, is a chair icon, which is used to take attendance. You can see, obviously, there's no icons lit up because there's no school in session right now. So I wouldn't have any students, or I wouldn't need have the need to take attendance today. The next icon is for taking lunch uh, orders or lunch menu. If your school uses that, my school does not, so we don't ever use that. Your student information icon or your backpack. This is to be able to get in to view any of the information on any students that are currently enrolled in that class. And then the report icon or the print report icon will allow you to print attendance sheets or any of the other reports that are offered through PowerSchool right from the uh, main page. Your sidebar over on the side has your start page. This will bring you back to this front page at any given time. Your daily bulletin. And if you click here, it'll bring up your daily bulletin. Obviously, no bulletins are found in this for, uh, are found on this for the state. What you would use here is the principal might put important announcements, the office staff might put the day's announcements there, or any of the other attendance sheets or anything else that you might need to use. Staff directory of email addresses and phone extensions or phone numbers is all right here for you to be able to use. Uh, again, meals we don't use. Uh, gradebook. This is where you would go to launch your gradebook, your online gradebook that you would use to keep track of all your uh, grades and scores for your classes. And we'll, go, we'll talk about that in a little bit. And then again, a report section which you can use to print uh, class attendances, uh, guidance reports, progress reports, things like that that you would want to be able to print out for your students. If we go back to the start page, Taking attendance is very simple. If you were to click on the chair icon, uh, it would bring you to a list of your class. Unfortunately, I can't show you that right away, but um, what I can do is walk you through it. On the Power Teacher Start page, click the chair icon next to the class for which you want to take attendance. Choose the appropriate attendance code from the current attendance code pop up menu. And then you would click the cell next to each student who is absent or tardy to insert the code you choose from the pop-up menu. Once you're done there, you can simply click Submit and your attendance will be taken for that class. You can take attendance for previous days uh, as well. You just need to change the date up next to the top. Um, next, I want to talk to you a little bit about the gradebook features. If we go in a gradebook, you'll actually need to launch your gradebook, which I'm going to do right here. All right, and this is what a regular gradebook would look like. Obviously, I have no current classes because their school, again, is not in session. But if I drop down here, I can show you uh, my previous school year. Students, and then you see all my classes appear block 1A, which is periods 1, 2 on an A day. All right, obviously term for this class has ended, so there's not going to be any grade showing, but I can do a couple things here with you. Adding an assignment. You can add an assignment directly from the assignments window or the score sheet window using the plus icon. 
alternately you can right click your uh, mouse if you're using a two button mouse as well so if we add an assignment here let's say we want to add a test on chapter seven that'll bring it up over on this side as an abbrevi uh, abbreviation that will show up on any reports we want to add that as a category as a test there is an option if there's something that you don't have uh, as a category and you want to add that you can see here right here you can add a category if you wish possible points percentage or letter grade um, using points uh, will allow you to have a just general grade points divided by total points to get a grade all right possible points weight stays the same leaving the due date where it's at included in the final grade you can add a description of what the you can add a description of what the actual uh, test is going to be about or what the assignment's going to be about and then you would save it and it would appear up at the top All right, and you can see here that assignment is listed right here and obviously these are assignments from the end of the fourth uh, marking period All right. Um, entering grades is just as easy just go down click on each box and that enters the grades as you go through and you'd see once you click save it'll adjust the scores and you can see how it changes these scores as you add those in all right again this is just a brief overview of how to use power school and power teacher how to add an assignment so you can get started um, again, feel free to access the quick reference cards or the frequently asked questions or, or see any of the uh, PowerSchool trainers that helped present this today.